Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your connection is not private or you're experiencing on your Google Chrome web browser. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'm going to go ahead and do here will be to open up the date and time settings in the bottom right corner of our taskbar and make sure that the date and time settings are correct. If not, you may have to go ahead and just right click on the clock settings and then select the just date and time. At this point, you might have to turn off setting time automatically and then manually change the date and time. And then also maybe you have to change the time zone settings as well, certainly a possibility. And you wanna make sure that time is set to the correct date and time. So open up the star menu, type in control panel, Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to large icons and then select Network and Sharing Center. Select whatever your internet hyperlink is right under here. So it might say Wi-Fi, Ethernet, something like that. Just go ahead and left click on it. And then select Properties. Left click on Internet Protocol version 4 and then in parentheses TCP slash IPv4. And then select the Properties button. Select where it says use the following DNS server address. And in this field, you want to type 8, followed by another 888. Eight, eight. And then the alternate DNS server, type 8.8.4.4. Again, exactly how it appears on my screen here. And go ahead and select OK. Once it's done, close out of here. Close out of that. And you can always set it back to automatic too. If you made a mistake, you need to go back and change that. So no big deal. And then once you're done with that, you can go close out of here. One more thing we could do is open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match sugar back with command prompt, right click on it, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this command line window, you want to type in IP config, space forward slash flush DNS, exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, IP config, space forward slash flush DNS, hit enter on your keyboard to run this. And now we're going to go run the second command and that's going to be N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset. Hit enter on your keyboard to run this. It should say successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here. Restart your computer at this point. Okay, so once you've restarted your computer, hopefully now at this point you go online, your connection should be okay, and it shouldn't have an issue anymore. 
So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.